One million facts about orcas. Killer whales aren't only those whales at sea wheel doing tricks and flips. They can do much more than that. They can swim faster than any shark. These whales are magnificent, but sadly they are endangered. The best thing to do is learn about them. How do they look? Spots. Killer whales have spots. They don't have as many as Dalmatians do, but have one big patch on their belly and two near their eyes. Like almost any other animal, a killer whale's spots are unique. No two killer whales are the same. Did you know that the pair of spots on its eyes aren't their eyes? Their eyes are actually right below them. Teeth. Killer whales are fierce hunters, like sharks, but this whale only has one layer of teeth. Sharks usually have multiple layers of teeth. Killer whales have 40 cone-shaped teeth, each three inches. Their teeth are so sharp they could bite through a rubber tire. Whales with teeth have one blowhole, and whales with baleen have two blowholes. Fins. Killer whales have four fins. One of them is the dorsal fin on their back. Dorsal fins can range from about three feet tall to six feet tall. Killer whales also have two paddle-like fins on either side of their body to help them steer through the water. A fluke at the end of their tail, which also helps them steer through the water. Boy or girl, how can you tell if a killer whale is a male or female? Well, one is that a whale kill, male killer whale will jump out of the water to attract females. An even better way to find out is to look at their dorsal fin. A male dorsal fin can be as tall as a professional basketball player. A female dorsal fin is about as tall as a baby. All in the family. Killer whales are very social. They communicate using quick squeak moans and whistles. Sometimes they can even make noises so low we can't even hear them. Killer whales live together in a group called a pod. Pods usually have up to 25 members. A male killer whale is called a bull, a female is called a cow, and a newborn is called a calf. A mother will always have a helper to help look after the baby while the mom is busy. Pods tend to share their meals and look after each other when they are sick. During the mating season, a mated couple will swim side by side like holding hands. Isn't that fascinating? All about babies. Killer whales are pregnant for 16 months. That's almost double amount humans do. After 16 months, the baby calf will come out of the mama's belly tail first though sometimes a calf can come out head first. When the calf comes out, it has its eyes open. The first thing a baby killer whale must do is swim to the surface and take their first breath of air. The mom will help by nudging the baby to the top. A baby killer whale has a yellowish color where the white spots are. As they grow, they will become whiter. A newborn calf is eight feet long. They weigh 300 to 400 pounds. That's two tons. They drink 100 pounds of milk a day for five to eight months. How long? Some killer whales live longer than we do. Usually females live longer than males do. Females can live to 90 years old. Males live up to 60 years old. Males are usually bigger than females, being as long as 31 feet. Males are usually 28 feet. A killer whale. Killer whales aren't actually called killer whale. The real name is orca. Orca means kingdom of the dead in Latin. Orca whales are often called killer whales because orca whales are at the top predators of the sea. Brr, it's cold. Killer whales spend the summer in the Arctic waters. To keep warm, they have a layer of fat called blubber three inches thick. In the winter, they migrate to coastal waters like Hawaii, the Galapagos Islands, the Bahamas, and the Gulf of Mexico. Diet. Killer whales need food to survive, just like us. They eat sharks, 
seals, walruses, fish, penguins, and squid. These mighty whales eat 550 pounds of food a day. That's 16,500 pounds of food a month and 198,000 pounds a year. Killer whales can reach up to 35 miles per hour to catch food. There are some neat tricks killer whales can do to catch food. One way that killer whales catch food is to surround a big group of fish. First, a killer whale will dart out from the bottom. When the others in turn un then the others in turn until the fish are all in one clump. The killer whales then attack all at once so it is almost impossible to escape. A really neat trick these whales do is called the bubble trap. A killer whale will blow bubbles from its blowhole in a circle, leaving a little cage where the prey will get trapped. During the summer, when killer whales are swimming in the Arctic waters with lots of ice floats flowing around, they tend to tip over floats and eat the seals or penguins aboard it. This cool trick, called spy hopping, is when a killer whale pokes its head out of a little hole in the ice and sees if there is any dinner nearby. Killer whales can ride on waves on to the surprised walruses and try to grab one. Endangered, I didn't know. Whales are being killed every day. All whale species have been decreasing over the centuries. One big problem is whaling. Though some countries have banned whaling, people still do it to get money. Other reason is that scientists need them for research. Oceanographers say there is a special sickness that whales often have. That sickness is called PVC. PVC is short for polychlorinated bifills. One effect of PVC is that a mother will have reproductive problems. That way she might not be able to give birth to a calf. Even if she would, the calf would still be in danger. The chemicals from PVC get on the mother's belly and mix into the milk the baby drinks. The milk and the, the chemicals in the milk weaken the calf's immune system, making it unable to fight bacteria and get viruses. Whales can make be made into many things. A lot of things we use and that is why we want to make them. But sadly you need whales to make those things. Some things we make out of whales are oil lamps, instruments, corsets, toothbrushes, umbrellas, whips, perfume, candles, and most of all meat. Whales suffer because of these items but as long as we don't use as much of them we will help whales a lot. This is to all whales, not just killer whales. There are two more things you should be aware of. Those are pollution and oil spills. New York City has a lot of oil and factories. It's not just here, but everywhere. We pollute. Garbage will never be gone. One day, that garbage room where all the garbage trucks go will get full. Then what do we do? Actually, most companies will just dump it into a nearby lake or river. From there, all the, that trash will go to the ocean and get tangled on an animal or even in its belly. Oil is the same. Oil coats an animal like the thick black blanket of, in, of slime. This makes it harder to, for animals to see, breathe, and swim. It's true. There are a lot of people who already who help already, but it's not enough. So help as much as you can.